Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to multiply these two matrices right here. So here we have matrix C and here we have matrix D. And the objective is to find the product of C times D. Now, matrices is a huge topic in algebra and mathematics. Matter of fact, uh, in more advanced math, like at the university or college level, there is a course called Linear Algebra that is basically totally dedicated to matrices and more advanced uh, topics about matrices and other kind of related topics. But uh, this mathematics, Linear Algebra, again, dealing with matrices, um, has a huge part in uh, machine code, computer programming, and artificial intelligence. So some of you out there might be saying, hey, when am I ever going to use this stuff? You know, is this really needed in the real world? Well, I can tell you right now that mathematics, you know, matrices, and just so many advanced math topics finds our way in all aspects of our life. So you know, of course, you know, it's not so easy to see that, but I'm just telling you right now that, yes, math is actually used in our real world life. All the technology, all the computer stuff that we enjoy, all the engineering uh, comes or is derived from mathematics. OK, so we're going to get into this problem here. Now, if you've never seen a problem like this or when you're multiplying two matrices, for example, uh, this would be something that you would probably uh, would probably learn like at the Algebra 2 level. Okay, You might be introduced to it in a first-year algebra course, but certainly a second-year algebra course, college algebra, definitely a pre-calculus course, you should be able to handle this problem. But uh, if you've never seen this before, I'm going to quickly explain the steps. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I want to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so we have matrix C and matrix D. We want to find the product of, mat of C times D. What is the answer? Well, let's go and take a look at it right now. The answer is this matrix right here. 5, 8, 6. Okay, so that is the matrix. Now, if you're kind of lost at this point, just hold on one second. I'm going to explain this. But if you got this correct, that is outstanding. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%, and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how to multiply two matrices. They'll be so impressed with that. And they'll say, hey, you know what? I heard that this stuff is related to uh, machine code, computer programming, and artificial intelligence. They'll be like, hey, you should go get yourself a job in that field. But anyways, I digress. Nice job. Now, if you're totally lost about this, well, this particular problem uh, may not be a good problem to start with. Uh, again, if you need help with anything matrices, uh, check out my Algebra 2 course or my pre-calculus course in my Math Help program. I teach everything about matrices that you need to know. But let's go ahead and get into the actual problem right now. So we are discussing matrix multiplication. Now, when it comes to matrix multiplication, uh, what I'm going to be doing here is just a quick review. Right? This is not like a full lesson on matrix multiplication. I, of course, I am going to highlight the important things you need to know. But if you're lost on matrix multiplication, you're going to want to do additional problems and a little bit easier problems, although this particular problem is not that difficult. But let's go ahead and take a look at some foundational concepts here. Now, if we have one matrix, and this matrix C is a 3 by 3 matrix. So a matrix has what we call a dimension to it or an order. Okay, or size. How do we describe this matrix? Well, it has three rows, one, two, three, and it has three columns. Okay, so one, two, three. So the way you describe um, a matrix is by its rows and columns. So we just use this little X right there. So rows and columns. So this is a three by three, three rows, and rows is first, okay, and the columns next. So this is a three by three matrix. So pretty obvious there, okay? Now, this matrix over here is a what? Well, hopefully you can see, oh, it has one, two, three rows, three rows, and it only has one column. So this is a three by one matrix. Now, some of you might be saying, well, can we even multiply these two matrices? Like, they don't seem like the same size, obviously. So can we get an answer? Well, yes, you can, all right? And that's the first thing we need to do is to check to see if we can actually get a product 
from two matrices because you cannot uh, multiply any two matrix or any two matrices together. Okay, you have to check and you have to check the following. So again, we have rows and columns, right? This is three rows uh, by three columns and this uh, matrix here is three rows by one column. So if I want to multiply this matrix by this matrix, a three by three times a three by one, we have to check the following. We have to check the column of the first and the row of the second matrix, okay? So you can just see I have this kind of highlighted right here. So the column of the first has to be equal to the row of the second. So in other words, these numbers here have to be equal, and you can see they are three, and three are the same. So that gives us a green light that, that we can actually proceed to find the product of these two matrices. If these numbers were not the same, if this was a two by one, in other words, if we're trying to multiply a three by three by two by one or four by three, uh, we cannot do it. Okay, so again, the first thing we need to do is to check that these numbers are the same. Okay, so if they are the same, well, again, we can uh, find the product, but what's going to be the size? Uh, in other words, how many rows and columns is the actual answer going to have? Well, our next pair of numbers answers that, answers that question. So it's the row of the first and the column of the second. So you can, see, you can see here, this is a three and a one. So our answer will be a three by one. So let's go back to the actual answer here. So this is the solution. So looking at this, how many rows does this have? Well, you can see here, this is the first row. This is the second row. This is the third row. And of course, there's only one column. All right. So in other words, this is a three by one. Remember, it's rows times columns. OK, so hopefully this makes sense. And if you're like, OK, I get this, Mr. YouTube math man. Uh, so how do we actually calculate the answer? Well, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that now. All right, again, uh, this uh, procedure or process kind of warrants, you know, uh, not kind of, it definitely warrants kind of a full formal lesson. So this should be kind of review for you. And if this is the first time you're trying to learn this, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel on matrices, matrix multiplications, et cetera, all that kind of stuff. But I would definitely encourage you to check out like my Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus course. All right, so here is how we're going to find the product of um, this uh, matrix, okay? All right, let me go back here because I want to show you something. All right, so we know our answer is going to be a three by one, right? So we're going to have three rows, one, two, three. This is rows and columns. I'll show you this work here in just one second. And then we're going to have obviously one column, okay? Now when you're multiplying matrices, we're going to use the rows of the first and the columns of the second. All right. Now, in this particular case, this only has one column. Uh, so this could be a little bit confusing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be thinking about this position. What's the position? What's the entry here? Well, this is row one, column one. This is row two, column one. This is row three, column one. Now, in this particular case, we only have one column. It certainly would be more interesting if we had, you know, a larger matrix. But just, you know, again, a quick review. Now, hopefully, um, those of you out there are kind of with me on this, uh, you know, be like, oh, yeah, I know how to multiply matrix. I just need a brush up on this stuff. But let's go ahead and get into it right now. So what we're going to do, we want to find our first number. Okay, so this number right here, we're going to go for... Uh, finding the number or the value of the matrix, this entry, row one, column one. Now, when we're multiplying, we're going to be using the rows of the first, okay? So we're going to use row one and then the columns of the second matrix. So this is only one column. So to find row one, column one, right here, we're going to have to use these um uh, these pieces of information right here, right? Rows of the first, columns of the second, or row of the first, column of the second. So now let's go ahead and get into this and see how this works. Okay, so this could be a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna go nice and slow. So what we need to do is take this first entries, uh, negative one and two, okay? We multiply those together, all right? So what's the answer? That's negative two. Then we're gonna add that uh, by just walking things down. We're going to scoot this over one to the right, and we're going to scoot this down one down, okay? 
So you see what I just did? So I did negative one times two, that's two. Now we're gonna add this to the next pair of numbers with the row, with uh, first row and, and this first column. So three and four is what? That's 12, okay? So we're just gonna continue this procedure and then we're going to add this to uh, five and negative one. So five times negative one. We might, again, we're multiplying here. Five times negative one is negative five. Kind of squeeze that in. Now we'll add up all these numbers here in a second. All right. Okay, so that is how we get these entries. So now let's move on and work on this second uh, value. And that is what? Well, this is going to be row two, column one. So we're going to have to use the second row, okay, row two, and the first uh, column. Again, there's only one column, but there's additional columns. We would use those. So let's go ahead and practice the procedure again. So three and two is what? That is six. Okay, now we're going to add that to our next numbers. We're going to scoot this over. That's zero and four. So this is... Um, yeah, I could just tell you right now for decades of teaching this stuff, students get, can, I don't want to say get, can, well, they do get confused, but even if they think they know what they're doing, uh, when you're dealing with matrices and matrix multiplication, so, so easy to make an error. You have to be completely focused here. Okay. You're going to be thrown off track. All right. So we did three times two, that's six. We're going to add that. We're moving over one and down one here. Zero times four is zero. Okay. And then we're going to add that. We're going to scoot over one more time and go down one more time. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. Of course, we'll add this up in just one second. So let's go ahead and get that last entry, which, of course, is going to be what? Well, that's going to be row 3, column 1. So let's do that right now. Row 3, column 1. And again, it's going to be 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, and we're going to add. It's always adding to the next uh, number. So we're scooting over one to the right and one down two times four is eight. And then we're gonna add that to four and negative one. Four times negative one is negative four. So now let's go ahead and finally, finally add all this up. So when we um, add up negative two, 12 and negative five, we're going to get five. When we add up this six, zero and two, of course we get eight and two, eight, and negative four is a positive six. So there is our final answer. Okay, so hopefully you understand this. And of course, uh, you're gonna wanna do a lot of practice with matrix multiplication. And these are kind of easy values. This wasn't that difficult of a problem. You can have positive and negative fractions. You can have variables in here. Uh, you really do, you know, definitely need to know this stuff. And when it comes to matrices, the topics of matrices, there's a lot of things you need to know. You need to be able to find the determinants of matrices. You need to be able to find the inverses of them. You got an inverse matrix uh, matrices. You got, uh, there's uh, Gaussian Jordan method. There's Kramer's rule. It's a very exciting topic. And again, you might be saying to yourself, yeah, why am I messing around with all this stuff? Well, I can tell you right now, if you have any interest in technology or maybe uh, computers or, you know, what's going on with uh, machine learning, which is kind of the back, you know, the kind of the foundation of like artificial intelligence, you know, like machines teaching themselves. It, it has a lot to do with the math that you learn in uh, linear algebra. Of course, there's more to it than that, but this stuff does apply in matrices and engineering and things. It's, there's this huge application for it. So hopefully you're one of those people that have an interest in STEM, uh, S-T-E-M. You never heard of that acronym before. That stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So if you do like this kind of stuff, well, hopefully this video excites you to learn more about matrices. And if this video did help you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.